Hey, thanks for tuning in. We're talking about snorkeling and underwater photography, and believe it or not, this is the fourth tutorial. There's so many cool things you can do underwater photography while snorkeling. Today, we're gonna to talk about two more things, close focus wide angle and split levels. All right, now I'm gonna go into much more detail about close focus wide angle in a subsequent tutorial, but in general, for this technique, we need kind of a small aperture to have good depth of field so we can be focused on something in the foreground and the background. You might have to bump up your ISO a little bit to get adequate exposure. It's always nice if you can get down and shoot up. That keeps a quick shutter speed. A strobe might be considered to bring some color and clarity to the foreground, but I usually don't use a strobe. Um, what you have to do is focus on the foreground subject, then lock the focus on that, then recompose the picture, tilt up the camera. And again, you have to look at the composition issues. No mergers, avoid amputations and distracting backgrounds. It can be a little tricky, but let's see some examples. So here I dove to about maybe eight or 10 feet and got this sea urchin with my wife snorkeling and the undersurface, close focus wide angle uh, using available light. I think that's kind of a cool picture. Uh, here's another example of my daughter snorkeling at Cayman Islands at the Sunset House. Here's a jellyfish and my daughter below it, close focus wide angle, everything's uh, clear. It's on a sunlit day, uh, plenty of lighting even with a small aperture. Uh, this was taken at night. I used a single strobe with a wide angle lens and I got this little octopus right here on the side of a rock with my daughter only about two or three feet behind the octopus. As you recall, a strobe only penetrates a few feet because of the depth perspective. She looks like she might be eight or 10 feet away, but just really it's a couple of feet behind the octopus. A cool, close focus, wide angle shot. And here again, Snorkeling at night at about 10 feet depth, my daughter dove behind and was right behind this parrotfish and I got a shot, I mean not parrotfish, but porcupine fish. I got a shot of a porcupine fish with my daughter behind her using a single strobe, close focus, wide angle while snorkeling at night. All right, now let's talk about split levels. With split levels, they can be a little tricky. It's generally good to have a wide angle lens and a dome port, the bigger the better. I generally use an eight inch dome port. And it's nice to have an object of interest under the water and top side. In general, it's good to keep your sun to the back. Keep in mind the water is a little darker than the top side. You might wanna consider using strobes to illuminate the uh, object underwater, although generally I do not. And again, we need a smaller aperture for good depth of field because we want, to, we want to focus on the subject underwater, which is generally fairly close, but we still want to have the background, the distant, the top side subject in focus. So we want to have kind of smaller aperture. And that's why sometimes we might need a strobe to illuminate the object underwater in the foreground. Uh, sometimes you can, we, we usually, again, focus lock on the subject underwater and then quickly recompose our picture. So we'll focus lock and then recompose our picture. You can get water droplets on the dome port, but I find that if you focus and then real quickly take a picture within a second, the water droplets don't have time to form. Some people have applied saliva or other chemicals to the dome port. I haven't had too much luck with that. Let's look at a few examples. I'm not an expert at split levels, but these were all taken while snorkeling. Here we are with the nice underwater world here. You can see some fish and a beautiful topside image of the dock and the uh, blue sky with the clouds. Here, this was taken in Hawaii. I've got six eagle rays with a split level of some top side, some clouds and a fence and some trees. Not the most compelling top side subject, but the best I could do. Uh, here again, taken snorkeling in Hawaii, no strobe. I got a nice beautiful turtle underwater and a split level showing the building, hotel and some palm trees and cumulus clouds top side. Again, this was back to that picture I took of my dive buddies eating while in Bonaire on a lunch break. I got a picture of split level of the file fish, the water column, and the topside image. Split levels can be a lot of fun. You have something going on underwater and topside at the same time. Uh, here is so some roots and the mangrove thing. Again, topside picture of um, trees in Roatan. And in Hawaii, we have a nice sea urchin with some, on some rocks here. And then in the background, we have some palm trees in decent focus. And here's a split level of my daughter while snorkeling. The little wave gives a little diagonal, adds a little bit of uh, interest. Here's a self-portrait of myself, a split level while snorkeling. 
And this picture almost won a competition, which I generally don't submit to, but it got a noted mention. I was wiping my face off, taking a break, and my dome port was sitting floating, and I accidentally bumped the shutter, and it's a split level, because I got the part of the water underwater here in the radius, and I got the sunshine, the clouds, and me wiping my face off, taking a little, what I thought was taking a break. Little did I know I was taking an image. And here's another split line uh, subject in Caruso where you see nice fish under the water, a nice calm line of the water there. Then you can see under the dock and a dock here and some buildings and clouds. So split levels can be pretty cool. So you can do a lot of different things just snorkeling with underwater photography without having to worry about diving and all equipment, all the apparatus. It's much more accessible. You can have sometimes unlimited time. You can do it with people even if they don't go diving. So thank you very much for tuning in. This pretty much wraps it up on snorkeling. Thank you.